So in this video, we're going to look at Azure cost management. We're going to look at that in the Azure portal and how to set up budgets, how to track your costs. And for reference, this falls within what's referred to as the Azure well-architected framework within the cost optimization pillar. Uh, you can learn more about that at this link here. But simply put, that's a way holistically to think about your systems proactively uh, at, that you set up. So let's dive into Azure cost management. Okay, let's start in the Azure portal, portal.azure.com. In the search bar, search for cost management. And then in your menu on the left, pick cost management. Once you get there, there'll be a sub menu and go to cost analysis. Now this is the default chart you're gonna see typically when you go in here. In order to, to see a little bit more, let's free up some real estate and collapse this menu, hit the two chevrons there. And this is what we'll be looking at. Um, just know that everything you're looking at here in the, is in the context or scope of a particular subscription. If I hover over here, I see this subscription. If you wanna pick a different subscription, just go ahead and click on that. And you'll have a view and the ability to pick a different subscription. Then your date range, you can go to, you know, something like the last three months, et cetera, uh, to pick your different date range. And then um, you've got filters down here that affect this chart. Now, so what we're looking at here is my spend as of September 21st, which is today. And then what you have here in the grayed out ghosted area is the projected spend. And you can actually turn that off by saying under forecast, you can say hide and charts. You just see this, uh, the current spend, but it makes sense. You know, more information is typically better. So this is what you're projected based on your current run rate, current burn rate. This is what's projected. What you're also seeing here on this red line is budget numbers. Now, how do I control that right here? I could say, no, I don't want to see any kind of a budget. Uh, we're going to talk about budgets in a minute, but if I apply this budget right here, it's going to show me that I'm getting close to my budget. And if I hover over, I get more information about that. Now, let's affect this chart by picking some filters or slicers. Down here, we have service names. You can pick you know, a particular service in your subscription. Over here, you've got location. These, these effectively are regions. So if we I wanted to look at, at uh, the region uh, here, which is uh, central US, we can do that. Now, if we just unclick that, that's how we unclick a filter. So here, here we have US West too, we wanna pick that, click that, and that's gonna be the context of your chart. Once again, to undo that, just exit out of the, or cancel those particular filters by clicking that right up here at the top. Okay, so we've quickly covered forecast, a little bit about the budget, which we'll dive into in a minute, uh, and then the filters. Now let's look at uh, the different groupings we have here. We can group instead of, um, you know, by looking at everything, uh, let's group on the resource group name. So there we go, right there. And I find it a little more helpful instead of an area chart, let's go to a column stacked here. And then this is showing you the accumulated spend for the month. Um, and so that's great. You can hover over and see in particular what you're spending money on, which is great. What might also be helpful is to go to the daily and see day by day exactly what you're spending. Okay. Now, the view I really like is um, one that's called cost by resource. Now come up here to the view, click that and then say cost by resource. Now this one is great because it allows you to kind of get into the different details of each resource and see exactly what's going on. So now let's go down to this Azure Data Factory one right here. If we open that one, that's sometimes a little tricky to see what you're paying for. Well, when we expand it, we can see exactly 
what we're being charged on. So the total is up here, the 3704, and then this is the breakdown of that cost that we have some activity runs, pipeline activity, cloud write operations. Uh, let's look at another one. Uh, here's the uh, Azure Data Lake storage account. We open that up and then you can see the breakdown of the service tier and the meter, what you're being charged for. So. Like I said, I found find this view, the cost by resource, a really excellent view to kind of dive into the details of what's going on with um, the different resources that you're being charged for. Okay, so we've done this work. We've uh, created, you know, the report the way we want it. Um, let's go ahead and save it so we can get to it in the future. So let's save as, just say Kirby's cost management view. I can make this private if I want. Um, otherwise, I can share it with other people in this subscription uh, or in the, um, yeah, in the subscription. So once that is done, you can share it with somebody else that has access by clicking the share button here. Here's a link to that. You would just copy that to the clipboard and uh, send that to someone. You could also download this exact graphic. Let's say you wanted to put this in a presentation you could download uh, the graphic of this, uh, but you could also download the data. So we just click that, say so download data, and then we're gonna get a summary and a detailed view of the data. There's our file, open it up, and the first tab is gonna be summarized data, and then the detailed data is gonna be right there under your data tab. Let's close up Excel, go back to our report. Okay, now in order to get to that view, let's say you come back here and you want to go to that particular view, you get there by this view menu here. And uh, let's scroll up, there it is, Kirby's Cost Management, click that. That's how you get back to the same place and how you've configured this particular view. And this is, if you wanted this to be distributed or you receive this on a regular basis, click the subscribe button up here. This is pretty powerful. Um, as uh, here's my subscriptions to email. I'm going to add one. You can give it a name, email subject, of course, recipients. You can add other members of your team, distribution lists, give it a little optional uh, message here. And then, um, you know, the frequency is probably the other most important thing. Um, every weekday, uh, Monday through Friday, Sunday through Thursday, every Wednesday, et cetera, or a custom one here. So pretty powerful to be able to subscribe to this report and give it, uh, um, you know, give yourself visibility to exactly what's going on. Now I'd like to talk about budgets because this is probably going to be one of the most powerful things you can do to kind of stay on top of your costs. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this is how you view your budget. You've got the red line here. Well, how do you set that up? Let's go over here to cost management and click budgets. You see, I have a couple already set up. Let me shrink this menu down just to unclutter the screen and we're gonna add a budget. So here's our create budget. We're gonna give it a name, uh, Kirby's budget. And let's just call this one 1500 or something like that. And then this is the, the period that this budget will reset. Um, you can change the dates for the, you know, when this expires, et cetera. And let's give it the dollar amount. So there we go, uh, $1,500. Now, this is where it gets good. Uh, you're going to set up certain uh, periods where you want to be alerted on this budget. So, yeah, why not? Let's do a 25%. Um, let's do an actual of 50%. And let's do another actual period of 75. And when we get really close, we're going to do a 95. Okay. Um, and then we're going to put my email address right there. And we'll just delete this other email here and then create. Now you can also set up action groups. Uh, and those are things that uh, you'd click here to add, actually change that. But those action groups uh, do more than just send out an email or an SMS text. They can actually run Azure functions, etc. cetera. Uh, so that's a pretty powerful thing. But for right now, we'll just set up um, this email alert to me here. 
and any kind of a language preference. You've got all sorts of language preferences there. And we'll click Create. It'll validate. And once that's created, if we you know, go back to where we were, that's something that we can then, let me get back there real quickly. Here we are back in our cost analysis. Click our budget, and we just set up this $1,500. Now you're going to see this line based on the $1,500 amount. So that is probably one of the, the most powerful things you can do to give yourself visibility into your Azure spend and exactly what's going on. Some other links that I'll that I'll put in here. One is uh, a link to this documentation Azure Setup Guide if you're kind of just getting started. Um, it's a good place to start. Another thing uh, that you're going to want to look at is advisor recommendations. When you click that, I don't think there's anything in mine right now, but it's going to show you anything that you could take care of proactively to, to save money. So it's going to give you some recommendations as to what Azure sees in your subscription, um, things that you could do to save money. One last thing I'll mention is tags. When you create resources in Azure, you can create these optional tags. And these are just name value pairs. You can call the name something like department, and then the value you can make, let's say finance or legal or IT. But that's a real powerful way to get very granular in your reporting. So for example, if I wanted to group by a particular tab, here's a bunch of tags that I've set up. So um, it just gives you that, that deeper granularity into your budgets uh, by using tags. So definitely encourage you to use tags as much as possible. So yeah, quick overview on cost management. Hope this has helped. Okay, I forgot to mention Power BI Desktop. If you want, to run your own reports and dashboards, create your own reports and dashboards, you can do that in Power BI Desktop. As a reminder, that's a free tool to download and use. Um, it only, you really only pay for it when you get into that next level up, the pro version where you actually share and collaborate on reports. But in the Git data, if you type Azure Cost Management, you can actually get directly to the same set of data through Power BI. So keep that in mind if you want to run custom reports.